Hello and welcome. I'm Hi C, and this is Toku Rev, your introduction to Tokusatsu movie and TV shows to help you decide what you want to spend your time watching. Content has been a little slow in the past few months, but it's time to dust ourselves off with this bite-sized Toku Rev. With Giant Warrior appears in Tokyo. Giant Warrior Appears in Tokyo is a short film with a runtime of 10 minutes. It's one of those things that I get upset for not knowing existed sooner. God Warrior started as a commission brought on by Anno Hidaki, best known for his work on the popular anime series Neon Genesis Evangelion, but more recently he was the writer of the screenplay and was the chief director for the amazing 2016 film Shin Godzilla. Hidaki was the curator for an art exhibit at the Museum of Contemporary Art Tokyo titled Tokusatsu Special Special Effects Museum, Craftsmanship of Showa and Heisei Eras, Seen Through Miniatures. It was for this reason that he commissioned Studio Ghibli to create Giant God Warrior. Known for their groundbreaking animation highlighting such films as Totoro, Princess Manioke, and Spirited Away, the short was to be directed by Shinji Haguchi, one of the key animators in Hideki's Neon Genesis and second director for Shin Godzilla. Giant God Warrior would be the first live-action film creation to come out of Studio Ghibli. As for the God Warrior itself, it was based off the designs of Studio Ghibli's highly esteemed co-founder Hayao Miyazaki's manga Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. As for the film itself, while it's short and without a lot of narrative structure, it holds a lot of impact. The meat of the film is to showcase miniatures and practical tokusatsu effects. Obviously, this is something I hold very dear. It's an amazing example of how the use of creativity and innovation works together to bring us both unearthly creatures and unearthly destruction. I love practical effects. Even when the effects do not convince my eyes of the destruction, I can still feel the destruction. It's the observation of something physical that someone spent time to create being destroyed. This is echoed by the narrative of the film. Pulling from both Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind and from Evangelion, we are brought into a bare-bones narrative from a faceless female voice narrator. The only other character we are introduced to is her brother, or rather the story of her brother existing. As any time the dialogue is set up to quote him, the film breaks into a black screen with white text. But just because the narrative is bare, it doesn't mean that the content is. Like Neon Genesis Evangelion, Giant God Warrior uses uses a lot of Christian imagery, particularly from the story of creation from the book of Genesis, posing the question, if God created the world in seven days, why would we expect it to take any longer than that for it to meet its end? Nothing can exist in perpetuity, raining down a God warrior with wings inspired by the descent of angels. I'm taken away by the unearthly slim build of the physically realized version of the giant god warrior. Unlike Godzilla-style kaiju, the god warrior is slim and lanky, hunching over creation. This is very similar to the art style found in Neon Genesis. Once the destruction of all life begins, the viewer is treated to a feast of destruction. The purple beam that comes out of the god warrior's mouth is unique in how thin it is. This was later referenced and homaged in Shin Godzilla. but the destruction wouldn't have nearly as much of an impact without the excellent sound design. I can't begin to discuss how incredibly powerful I find both the sound design and the score of God Warrior. From start to end, every second of the film's score fills the viewer with emotions, from anxiety to dread and remorse to acceptance. So it's probably pretty obvious to see that I'm a big fan of this short film and highly suggest it to anybody. While it may only be 10 minutes long, Giant God Warrior Appears in Tokyo is a complete package. It's nothing short of a masterpiece. If you have people in your life that don't get why tokusatsu is an art form that has passionate fans, this is the perfect way to expose them to that. Showcasing all of its best features with some of the masters of the craft in a easy to digest 10 minute short film. So you know, go watch it. Thank you everybody, I'm Hi-C and this is Toku Rev. I know this is a shorter episode than what I typically put out, but that's because I needed a bit of a mental break after a few hiccups. But we're back to going full force. 
so I hope you'll join me for more tokusatsu introductions. As some of you might have noticed, I've started picking up a lot more live streams. In the future, I might create a separate channel for these, as I know most of my fan base isn't here for video game hangouts discussing tokusatsu on the side. <laughs> so thanks for bearing with me. But thank you for all the support for both the high streams and Breedom Heart streams. And there'll be more episodes of Toku Rev soon to come. So I will see you next time.